Well, in tonight's Health Edge, we're talking about vaccines and pregnancy. Tonight, a new study revealing a common vaccine is safe for pregnant women who want to pass their immunity on to their newborns. Dr. Parth and Andy joins us right now. And Dr. And Andy, what kind of vaccine are we talking about here? Yeah, I, I like this study. I, I'm glad it's positive. A review, a review of 300,000 live births showed that the TDAP, the TDAP vaccine, which is tetanus, diphtheria, pertussis, is safe for pregnant women. The study found no association between the vaccine and birth defects or other other major health problems with the unborn, unborn baby, so it's really effective. So why the Tdap vaccine recommended for these women? It's an important question, yeah. why this vaccine? So studies have shown an increased chance of passing these protective antibodies through the mother's placenta to her unborn child. The Tdap is recommended for unvaccinated pregnant women because babies can't receive the vaccine until they're two months old and there's a high risk of contracting pertussis, more commonly known as the whooping cough. So how dangerous is whooping cough? So if people don't know a lot about it, so pertussis or whooping cough is a potentially fatal condition that causes uncontrolled controllable violent coughing spells that's followed by this high-pitched breath that sounds like a whoop and it's caused by a bacteria that can interfere with breathing and may last for 10 weeks or more it can cause pneumonia bronchitis seizures brain damage and even death so serious stuff yes it it's is painful to watch as a parent too what are your prescriptions so you know pertussis is a highly contagious and in 2012 there are 48,000 reported cases of it so to protect yourself here are my prescriptions. Number one, get vaccinated. There are vaccinations for babies, children, and not for pregnant women and adults. So everyone in contact with babies should also be vaccinated. Vaccinated people can still get the whooping cough, but it's typically not as serious. Number three, know the signs of whooping cough. It starts like a common cold, but changes to severe coughing after one to two weeks. And finally, if you're concerned, see your doctor. He or she can diagnose you and prescribe medication to help you. Oh, good information. Yes. Thank you so My much pleasure. as always, Dr. Nandy. And if you have a question or health concern for the doctor, you can email him at drnandy at wxyz.com or send it to us on Facebook or Twitter.